Hello, welcome back to my um, Pi game tutorial. This is the um, second part of my uh, sprites class tutorial, and in this in this part we are going to be adding in a bit of animation. Um, so yeah, I've already got um, two images here, just of Mario looking nice there, <laughs> um, and they're both 32 by 32. If you are trying to do animation with like another image, make sure they're sort of like the same size, otherwise the um, animation doesn't work. And also, make sure you've got transparency around the edges, otherwise you're going to get a like a white border like that. Um, but yeah. Um, so I've just got two images, M1 and M2, but obviously you can use your own ones. But if you do use your own ones, then it, it's going to be, the code's going to be slightly different to what I type, obviously. So, um, yeah, you'll see what I mean um, later on. But yeah, anyway, we are going to, um, in our class here, um, I'll just give you a refresher of what, what's going on here. We've just got this class for a sprite. And right now, all it does is um, you can move a, a rectangle around on the screen, a square on the screen, and so it's not that interesting. But um, yeah, so we're going to improve that with our instead of putting a rectangle in, we're going to draw Mario instead. So the first thing you're going to want to do is do self dot um, image one something, or i1 something like that and then just do pygame dot image dot load you should understand this if you don't um go and watch my um pygame images tutorial um and that should tell you all you need to know um but yeah basically well, it's not that hard to grasp we're just um loading two images into memory so we can um Put them on the screen and um and just so that works we'll just put in a window dot blit and just put self dot i1 and and then we can just put i don't know um self dot x self self dot y and remember to close off both brackets and press f5 to run it and you can see we can just move Mario around on the screen. Um, yeah, still we have, we need to put in the animation, and um, I we can get rid of this. We don't really need that. Um, and yeah, uh, what else was I going to do? I completely forgotten. Oh yeah, you might want to change these to a um, like lower rate or whatever, because um, five is quite fast. So yeah, just put them down to three or something. And that's sort of a more human walking pace. Okay, um, now basically we are actually gonna set up a new method um, called update. Um, I remember to put in self. And in this basically, actually we, yeah, we need to create two new variables called self.time num, uh, self.time target. And we're gonna set that to 10 and self dot time number which we can start with zero um, and basically what this is is every this this game loop um, it's this whole while loop here it's our main game loop and in here we've got this clock dot tick fifth with 50 in the parentheses which basically means it's the game is going to be is going to aim for 50 fps um, and basically if we're going if we are going to like change the image every frame mario is going to be like you know moving so fast it's going to be uh, I'll, I'll try and explain what, what i mean but um if we put in another um variable called self.current image we'll just set it to zero first of all oh and you might want to set these to zero and one instead so it makes it a lot easier um if we just um increment self.current image each frame in our update method we're gonna actually instead of doing player.render down here do update um, basically what that's going to do is it's going to call the update method which is this one here and then 
within that we're going to call our render method um, so immediately when we've done our update method we're going to call our render method which will do this code um, and yeah um, in, in this render we want to put if self dot current image equals zero then we're going to want to do uh, we're going to want to put self dot image zero you see here we've got image zero else um, we just want to do window dot blit blit self dot i one image one self dot x and self self dot y okay um, and also in here we're going to want to do because like for okay yeah uh, I um, you you just want to put in an if and an else so if self dot current image equals zero um, then we're going to add on one to it else um, by the way if I'm going too fast just leave a comment and I'll try and explain it to you better because I know I'm kind of trying to keep this tutorial under um, 10 minutes but anyway um you can see Mario is going really fast I don't know if my, my screen recorder doesn't you know record at that higher FPS but this is going really fast and we don't want it to be that fast so um, basically what we're going to do is this time target thing is um, it's kind of hard to explain what we're going to do is every every frame so every like loop through this while loop um, if you see what I mean um, we're going to add on one to our time number which is this one here so do self dot time number plus equals one um, and basically what we're going to do is if if this time number equals the time target which is 10 then we're going to update the um, the image so we're going specifically we're going to do this this code here so what we're going to want to do is when we, we're going to want to do self dot time um, if self dot time number equals self dot time target remember to put in these two equals because we're testing we're not assigning but yeah anyway um, then we are going to do our all our updating um, so you can indent all these here um, else oh no we don't need the else um, and the, the other important thing we need to do in here is do self dot time number equals zero um, and I'll just put it back to zero so we can start this again um, so it doesn't go past the time target um, now as you can see we've got a smoother animation now um, I will explain that to you a bit better um, I don't think I'm going to add in like moving left and right for this tutorial because I'm running out of time but um, yeah I'll just explain that to you and also before I do anything else I just want to change this to uh, white instead because it looks kind of dark um, but yeah um, so basically I will just go over this again um, in our in our game loop here you can see while game loop um, this is all the keyboard stuff um, and then basically we're updating the players X and the players Y with these move X and move Y move X and move Y and then and then we're updating the player um, and the update method is here and basically what we're doing is each frame we're incrementing um, self dot time number um, and so like this will this will mean that the 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 um, the play the players image the players current Im image variable doesn't update every frame it updates every like um, well what is this we we're do we've got 50 frames in a in a second um so this is up the 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 self dot current image is updating every five frames um because we just get our time target well we get 50 and divide it by 10 which is five 
So every five frames, we're updating our current image. Um, and so that basically limits how fast the um, the image like changes, basically. So yeah, hopefully you understand that. If you don't, just leave a comment and I'll try and help wh with whatever you want. Um, but yeah, in here we're just testing if it's zero, then we want to make it one, basically. We want to put it like that. Um, otherwise, we'll just put it... So if it is if it if it is one, then we want to put it back to zero. If you've got more images, then you're going to need to do, like... Um, well, basically, if... If, um, if, like... Say you have four images, you want to test if the current image is four, then you want to put it back to one, else you want to add on to add on well increment the current image and then after that we must set the time number back to zero otherwise it will just I'll show you it will just go completely wrong so if we do f5 it will just stop after one because we're not setting self dot time number back to zero which is important um and then we just render it and yeah so if it's current image is zero we do image zero Otherwise, we do image one. Hopefully you understand that. So anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Um, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Um, yeah, bye.